The Miz proclaims to be the most must-see WWE superstar of all time. Well, the awesome one is going to have his chance to prove that right now. Hooked up and... Jawbreaker. combatants clashing inside a steel cage is its battle of attrition. Sometimes a superstar is left with no choice but to fight fire with fire and do whatever they need to do in order to win the match. He's got the shoulders down. And McMahon kicks out at one. Shane's doing the McMahon name proud, that's for sure. You touched on this earlier, but it's so important for a superstar to accept that there's nowhere to run and nowhere to hide in a steel cage match. That the conflict will be resolved within the 15-foot high steel walls that surround the ring. That losing a cage match can mean much more than a mark in the loss column. For some, it has meant the end of their career. He's going for the pin. And it's The Miz able to stop the count. Not even close. Off the back of the neck. Oh boy, he is rolling. The Miz was able to get out of the way there. We saw the best female and male competitors in WWE fight side by side during the Mixed Match Challenge. But the new will emerge from the 12-team competition as the inaugural winners. The team of The Miz and Asuka, also known as Team Asuka. Michael mentioned The Miz and Asuka's success on the Mixed Match Challenge, but can we clarify things a bit? Most of that tournament was The Miz getting out of the way as Asuka continued her domination. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Most isn't all, Saxton. Don't you dare forget that The Miz scored a pinfall victory against Bobby Roode in the finals that made the A-lister and Asuka the first ever Mixed Match Challenge winners. The Miz is looking at this. Truly devastating, Cole. The Miz is calling for it. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Nailed it. Shane McMahon turns it around. The chain looking to finish. I love these cage matches. Beautiful technique, but he's got to capitalize now. This is Shane McMahon's chance. All right, when we talk about the progression of steel cage matches and the type of structures that have been spawned from them, will he be victorious? Two. No, he kicks out at two. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh, the reversal by the Miz.
The rivalry between Ultimate Warrior and Ravishing Rick Rude began during the Super Pose Down at the 1989 Royal Rumble. Then it progressed to where both superstars battled over the Intercontinental Championship. At SummerSlam 90, the rivals met inside a 15-foot high steel cage for the WWE Championship. Victory could be achieved by pinfall or escape from the cage. This has been a battle. This steel cage match is books. How about another look at some of the highlights? I remember this part very well. Who could forget this? This was another great moment. And here's a last look at this one. Here is your winner, The Miz. Strategy fell into place with that victory. Great effort from both these guys, Michael. I'm willing to bet this isn't the last time we see them square off. The action we see each and every year at Money in the Bank simply never ceases to amaze me.